Hey everybody and welcome back to Dagon Ropa. <laughs> um and I believe we're going to the beach. I believe, because we're gonna go help Kazuishi set A murder just took place. I'm gar I guarantee you. A body has been discovered! Yep. That's why Hanji was running away. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! <clears throat> the question is, who's dead? Someone... Someone come here! Can I get this real quick? Huh? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious, dude. I found you. Now, where the flip is the dead person? I won't believe it. Why wouldn't you believe it? So, okay. Um, <clears throat> dots. I, I won't believe it. But yeah, but like, see, you're gonna believe it in a second. Shattered into pieces. Who's dead? Who's dead? Who is it that's dead? It's not my girl. Ah, oh, darn it. That's why Sayanji was crying. If this was all a dream... When when did I when did I begin dreaming? If this is reality, why is Mihiru clever on the floor covered in blood? Okay, she was cool too. I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. Okay, and I pressed it twice. Gosh darn it! All right, time for the investigation. So. <sighs> Suspects on the list are uh, obviously the obvious one that they threw forward was uh, what's his name? Unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people, and she was always straightforward toward us and toward herself. She was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mihiru? Why? Why did this happen to her? Um, okay. The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble, and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Damn it! Hey, Hajime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited we were going to go to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. But why? Are you kidding me? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me. I obviously don't know what's going on either. Oh! Huh? Um... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Ah. Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry and get the others. So, okay. So, Ka Kazuichi... Not Kazuichi. Uh, Fuhiko is the obvious one that they've been... I'm sure everyone else come here. They had to change and whatnot. Must have taken some time. But I really didn't know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return around the time that I realized the others were already here. Uh, what the hell is this? Eek, why Mihiru? The other girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach and their faces were pale with terror. Something like this! For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling around the, or toward the beach until a voice stopped them. Hold it! Hold a sec. Mm. Those things beneath you. Careful not to step on them. What? Beneath? See? You know the footprints uh, in front of that door. <sighs> there are footprints leading out of the beach house. That's probably Sayanji. So don't step on them. Huh? It's Sayanji. If you need evidence... That's... Monica mentioned it in the announcement, right? 
After a certain amount of time, we'll hold the class trial. What the? Another class trial? Are you serious? Then are you saying this is? That's right. That's right. One of you guys killed her. Lies. Killed? That's impossible. Hey, hey. They're making it seem like it's Fuhiko. Uh, if you think about it, uh, whose alibi is not playing out? Uh, Nekumaru's alibi isn't playing out. Well, that's not true. He had a fight with... What's her name? But that's not a thing that matters. I was with Kazuichi the entire time, so it could have been Kazuichi. Uh, the Fuhiko is the only one. Sayanji is, wasn't there. Uh, Miss Sonya was late. Miss Sonya was late. But her excuse is that she was putting on her bathing suit. Do you guys think that this is an accident? This also counts as a legitimate murder. Though such deaths fall into a gray area on this island, I will make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. <laughs> well, it's possible to get sick on this. Uh, uh, sick and die on this island, not when Monami takes such good care of you. Uh. What's this? Oh, speaking of which. No. I don't like this. There it is, the silent Tudor attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Yeah. I'm not gonna lose to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. This is uh, the worst. Once again, this is a horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. No way! Jeez, it's not my fault. Huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? To find out, we hold the class trial. So... so let's begin already. No whining, just begin already. It's the Monokuma file! Alright, so I'll show, pass out the Monokuma file number two, and this should start to do feel familiar. Your best. Now do your very best to investigate, and I'll see you later at the class trial. Class trial, investigation. This is so horrible. It's just too horrible. Then hey! you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> that I did have that power until before he appeared. Perhaps. Even if she tried to stop it. Judging from Monokuma and Monami's relationship, there'd be no doubt she'd get stopped herself. <laughs> Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I could rely on are these ears. But they can only hear about three times that of an old. So basically. So basically, I have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. I'm just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. <laughs> There's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? I'm trying to think of whose alibi doesn't play out, and they're making it seem like it's Fuhiko, but from my last trial experience, uh, whoever you, they make it seem like isn't the person that did it. Uh, Eek, do, do, do we have to do it again? That cruel thing? Do we have to do it again? Why? I cannot believe it. Mayuri was killed by one of us. Damn it. I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial? Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same. But we can't do anything except do it. And... There's no way we can just ignore the reason Miyahu, Miyahu, hey. Mahiru was killed. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Because we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Chiaki. Well? The killer has their reasons, and I understand that. It was the same for Tedaru too. It's all really Monokuma's fault. I understand that too. But even so, um, we should never forgive we'll never killing. She usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. So in order for us to all survive, we must do I'm it. Gonna do it! Let's do it. Perhaps. Yeah, that's pretty much the consensus every time this happens. Mewhu probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand. If everyone's doing it, I will do it too, but please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. And I will go, go tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right. If all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. <laughs> I shall excuse myself for now. Hey. Who killed Mahiru Kozomi Izumi, and why was she killed? <laughs> we gotta find out and solve this already. That's right, we have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this. It's the only reason that I'm the only one that can do this. Jeez. They freaking are so dumb. Okay, so... Uh, first, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. Uh, so I have a feeling I know what happened. The victim is Mahiro Koz uh, Koi 
poison me. Uh, estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. Okay, so it happened right when we got to the thing. Uh, which is right when Fuhiko was there. Uh, but I don't think Fuhiko is the one that did it. The scene of the crime was where the body discovered be the beach house at Chandler Beach. Uh, the victim is... The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Around 3 p.m., that's the same time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. If we had just gone to the beach house instead, now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing so. <sighs> that's making me feel like I could have gone to the beach house and talked to what's her name and stopped this whole murder. Is that possible? Is that a, could, it, does anybody know this game? Is it possible to prevent murders? Because every time there's been something that I could have done differently. I'm going to find out the truth behind Maharu's death. Maybe it wouldn't have let me come over here. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. So they gave me a truth bullet. Um, okay, so I guess the first thing that I've noticed is this uh, open closet. Uh, the last time I came here wasn't the case. I'm a little suspicious. There's probably investigate inside here too. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Here's my here's my suspicion. As much as I don't know if it's true or not. I think the one that killed her is Sonya, never mind. Hear me out. We s the, the jumpsuit's up there. And she could have been... She was in the closet and she was late. The reason why she was late could have been that she was not only trying to put on a swimsuit, but she would also, like... Uh, she was also killing Mahiru. That's too obvious, though. It's too, it's too obvious. And one person standing here. But if you think about it this way, it means it's all. It's possible for only one person to stand here. Hey, what's going on up there? I found you. I found you. You gosh darn right. All right, so gummy. Something on the floor. A yellow gummy candy. Scion. So Sayanji was here. We know that Sayanji has a crush on. I think that's what they want me to find in here. everything inside the closet okay so yep they let me leave so there's nothing else inside this closet now um so we know that Sayanji has a crush on Mahiru so she was probably hiding in the closet to get a peep at Mahiru, Mahiru who is probably no because there's no changing in the bathhouse unless she didn't know that <clears throat> what's in the trash can Oh, so it was a thing. Lots of plastic water bottles in there. Huh. It's a metal bat, right? This metal bat. Yep. Huh? Well. There's a girl named E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. That girl was killed with a final uh, with a blow from a metal bat, just like Mahi. Hey, hey! Did you did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about the metal bat? Yes, that's exactly it. But 
Did you play it too? Don? Then I'm sure you know this, but the ca the case this time is strongly connect connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mahadu's death, you'd probably need to solve that game's mystery too. But even if you solved the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it still was ambi ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with the game over. But were you able to beat it? No, I'm just a girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? Actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now I should focus on this investigation. So it's okay that it's okay to say that the metal bat is absolutely the murder weapon, right? Metal bat has been added to the toothpick section of your Okay, uh the mask is curious too. Let's let's click on the mask. <laughs> Not e e uh, so something this weird should only happen in song. Yeah. Okay, so what is this? Bloodstains on the floor and they're streaked as if she crawled through them. Um, the when she tried to run away during the attack. So she used all her energy to crawl away and it took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. No. What's that door? I was leaning against this door so I couldn't open it. Uh huh. What was in that door? Mask. This is what I want to look at. <laughs> What's th this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this mask from the toy section of the supermarket? Maybe party goods? Regardless, why is this even here? Did the wear the killer wear that mask to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um, a gaudy mask? Huh? Oh, that mask? You've seen this? Sunwich Esperito. It's a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country. Wow. An anime with a viewership of over 90%. Is this is Sony's country really alright? It cannot be. Uh, could it be a uh, mask? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If it's true, could it be? Could could it be what? I am sorry. Please give me some time. For reasons unknown, Sonya rushed out of the beach house. What's with? It appears. It seems she knows something. If that's the case. I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. If Sonya to be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. Pretty anime girl bass has been added to the truth bullet section of this. Okay. Um, what else is there to examine here? Um, uh, her body? She's all, all life in her body. It's as if she is, she's a shell. Is this really the energetic Mahdu I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I still can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mahdu. But we don't have time to wall in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slapped both my hands on my cheeks and faced Mahiru's body one more time. Uh, the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned on the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away while she was attacked and tried to crawl to the door. Evidence can be seen in the blood stains on the floor. They're streaked as if she crawled through them. So she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her last breath. Someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. Um, okay. Okay. Shower room. This is the shower room. So notice something. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or something. That's right, the shower's being repaired so the water won't come out. What about hot water? That's impossible too. Uh, if the shower's out of order, then isn't this just a waste of space? I'm sorry. I was planning to fix it if my magic stick my magic stick was taken from me. So I never got around to fixing it. What the heck? So what does your magic stick have to do with repairing? You're so evil! 
It's all Monokuma's fault. Everything is all Monokuma's fault. Stop. Your doubtful eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokuma's accomplice. You must have read my mind. Think what you want of me. I've already given up. But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of disadvantage. I promise I will help with that. No, she's not! Oh my goodness. Just freaking everybody's rude to her. And she doesn't she hasn't done anything. She hasn't done anything wrong. I guess I should check inside too. Inside the shower room. This is a really nice, spacious shower room. If it's this huge, you could also use it as a dressing room. But changing in the beach house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. Okay, so this whole mystery is, is, is related to that game, right? A toilet, but you really can't use it as a step stool. There's a window, it's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it, but I have it seems I can't take my mind off of it. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I probably can't reach it. It's about nine feet up. And not just that, it's an iron barred window, and if that's the case, Yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through there. Leave it to me! Oh, I got it. I'll pitch in and help you out. Huh? Now then. Come on. Give me a piggyback ride. I'll check the window for you. Pitch in and help. I feel like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. I'll pick you up! If you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> Don't worry, my panties are clean. Uh, I see, that's good. Uh, letting out a deep sigh, then bent over under the window. Alright. All right. As she shouted, Ak Akane jumped onto my shoulders. Ugh. Hey! Your hey, your balance sucks. sucks, make sure your stance is. You, you're a lot heavier than I expected. This is all voice acting. Yeah! Cause I'm so buff. Like, every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. Jesus. That just got, like, it's got really serious really fast. So, how's the window? Let's see. That's what happened. Did, did you find anything? <laughs> God damn. Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure Gosh, no one would be it. able to get it. Check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. It's like a glass window. I'm just gonna say that See? right now. My head can fit through, no problem. Then, it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep, yep. How can I jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin? <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? The problem is, how are they able to reach that window? Hmm, hmm. even if I jump, I can't really reach it. <laughs> but if two people work together, just like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice. Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? But even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as the step stool would still be inside. Like? Uh, if you really think about it, oh, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Not really? So, yeah, like... I got it. A freaking ninja could do, <laughs> could do it, you know? A ninja could climb fences and walls no problem, right? Thoughts. Just as I thought. It looks difficult to go in and out through that window. What the heck? I even took the time to lend you my wisdom. Piss me off. You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took the time to pitch in and help. You. It was a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. No, I didn't. 
Oh, it looks like it, it's not the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. Um, iron barred window. Okay. Um, Alright, so thank you for telling me that. Huh. So, related to that video game. So I, I'm, I have a feeling I don't know all the pieces of the, anything yet. Okay. Beach side door. There might be things I haven't investigated yet. Okay. What about the refrigerator? Both the drinks inside the refrigerator, but... Compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from here? No, not only that, the only drinks left look either sweetened or uncolored. or colored. They look pretty healthy. Yeah, they look healthy. Interesting. I'm surprised it's not a tree floor. But this is a tree floor, so I guess that there was lots of water drinking. I see, I will never forgive killing. Hmm. However. Chiaki seemed quite different from her usual self. Seems really strong. It's not just Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive something like that. I guess you're right. What do you have to say? How suspicious. Did you find some sort of some kind of clue? See? You know the footprints from earlier? They're in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh that. Well? Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones inside the beach house. But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey! Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. At first I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road, but that didn't open, so I went around and tried to open from the beach side door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because my whose body was blocking it, right? Hmm. That's when I noticed those footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. So it's it's just Sion. It's not it's not anything huh? suspicious. Oh, you mentioned it. Pekka said she was, she went out for a little swim because those footprints were. Yeah. Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I don't know anything about this beach. Maybe. But yeah. Still. To the tunnel. That's. It's obviously it's Sion. You guys are idiots. It appears. There's no mistake that the killers. These are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue that might be. It's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yes, it's probably an extremely important clue. No, it's not. It's not, it's just Saihanji. Well, I guess I've finished investigating all I can, but that's still not enough. There's some of the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why Mahiru gets killed. Uh, the Twilight Syndrome murder. <laughs> That's a real ass girl. Are you kidding me with that? I mean, it's it's obviously like edited, but look at they're using like real ass pictures. A metal bat. Uh, that's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahi. There's no way that's just a coincidence, right? Actually, uh, it's missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. Missing Link. If that's the killer's motive for killing this time, then the mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, the person who might know about that mystery is standing next, right next to me. No, it's... I should ask her about it. It's been updated. What, did, what, uh, what was updated about? Oh. Yeah, I knew that already. That should have been added, like, years ago. Hey, Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Mm. That's... Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I've inve uh, finished investigating once through. Yep. Well, let's go. G go. So... Um, you want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I see... Then I think you should play it let's yourself. Let's go. So, let's go. Yeah, you're right. With Chiaki leading, I left the beach house. We headed straight over to Jabberwock Park, where the unsettling machi arcade machine was placed. But I never... I never expected that person to be waiting there. Who's that person? Neko? Nekumaru? Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagato. <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. 
Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Well, why are you here? There's no need to worry about a loser like me. More importantly, did you hear? Apparently Mahdu got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of the group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing! But still, you guys will be able to shine because of this outcome is full of despair, right? <sighs> That's right, no matter how much, how dark the despair, hope can shine brighter and stronger. <laughs> I do feel bad for Mahiru. Uh, this is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? It looks like you feel no remorse. Jeez, as usual, he's acting crazy. He's almost pissing me. He's not really pissing me off. We knew that he was crazy. Uh, so, why are you here? Who told you about Mahar? Oh, no. You don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Monami. It's Monami! Yes, it was me. Why did. <laughs> why. You, why'd you untie Nagato without anybody's permission? Um. Did I do a bad? I <laughs> wanted to. I wanted everyone to get along and, you know, cooperate. There's no way we'll all get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. But fighting among friends is mo what Monokuma wants you guys to do. Now, now. Hajime, you should forgive her. Monami is making a valid point, too. You have no right to say that. But now is not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for Mahiru, right? That's right! That's why everyone must work together and have Monokuma enough. Enough already, just go- what? <laughs> Nagato, you two, hurry up and- what? Man. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I will guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's no reason for me to be here. True ending. Now, then. Now, although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. I'll try to be useful in my own way. Thank you, Nagato. I mean, it's cool. It's cool that you're trying to help. So, uh, who who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I will always be on the side of hope. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, the situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it. Hey, hey. Hajime, let's just move on and start the game. I feel like <sighs> I'm on a disconnect with this main character. Dots. You're right. Like, I want to feel what he's feeling, but I don't. Uh, even if I do play this, I might just get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Shigaki if there's a walkthrough for this game, okay? Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second day and fourth day again, and then get a game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? When you ga get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Uh, what do you mean? Want me to tell you? Wait. Down five. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too. That thing that was displayed on the game over screen. Is that... Yes. Are you talking about the message that says down five? Uh, just so you know, that doesn't mean you have to down five drink. You just have to press down five times. Yeah. That's what I thought. In command is, you just have to press the down button five times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick. Just as expected of the Ultimate Gamer. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just either you get it or you don't. In fact, Nagito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. I have a feeling that Girl E killed someone. Yep, yep. Yep, I know. Thank you. I'm doing it. Okay, hold on. Put your plus down with your own hands. The screen change. She was right. Yep. This is the real game. The Twilight Syndrome Murder Cases Truth Edition. I should start. I should start it up. I need to figure out, find out why this game is a motive. I press the escape key, right? I, said, I don't. I don't have to press the escape key. I can press the click. 
We open with a specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the accident, so they, hide, they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell these girls. Several days after the incident, one of the five girls, girl E, is murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this peaceful academy? By playing the missing first and third day, you will be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden within this truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start with the first day when it all began. Okay. Um, I'm interested, because I want to see how this could be a motive. Now loading. First day. Don't. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're gonna go home late because we had to wait for Slowpoke Girl A. Come on, Girl B, you don't have to be that mad. Hey, don't go taking photos without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. I'm not your good friend? What? There's no way I'd ever be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit with, like you. Uh, the way Girl B treats people, even loan sharks looking to collect would be sick to their stomachs. Uh, is Girl E here yet? Uh, apparently she forgot something. She told us just to wait a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen. Stolen? You don't know? A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. <laughs> you should be super careful, girl, eh? A chubby weakling like you makes the perfect prey. Hey, stop it. Girl A is getting really scared. Haha, <laughs> it's fun to bully girl A. What was that sound? Wait, Girl E is the one that died? It sounded like glass breaking. It sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go. So, I thought Girl E was in the second day, so Girl E is not the one that's dead. How are they going to explain Girl E coming on the second day? Girl E. Huff, puff, huff. Girl E, what happened? I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now. I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're right. It's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? If we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go up to the teacher's lounge and get to the key to the, the room. The teachers are probably gone now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. Huh. Okay, so Girlie's not the one that died. I found the key. Nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. And let's open it right away. Creek. Okay. Girl A, you lead the way. Huh? Me? Come on, hurry, hurry. Okay. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Um, oh. Someone's laying on the floor. Who is it? Is it Mahidu? This is... She's not laying down. She's dead. Dead? That's impossible. What? Why? Kia! Lower your voice. They might still be nearby. Nearby. I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered, huh? Seriously, shut up. What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? What should I do? Dots. I see, so that's what happened. I found it. The killer's escape route. Escape route? Could it be? 
Ah, oh, the window is broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside after killing this girl. They broke the window and escaped outside. It looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out the window? But if they wanted to just run away, they could have just opened the window. Why did they have to break it? They were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's the evidence. The fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Broken fish tank has been added to... Why? Why is that added to my handbook? Oh my goodness, this is going to be another stupid trial. It's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it was safer than using the hallway. But is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you'd have to either lock it from the inside, the music room, or use the lounge key. When I went to get the music room, it was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer wouldn't have had time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the door could have been locked from the inside, which means the killer was inside the music room. Uh, also, to get outside from the music room, they would have needed to pass us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by. Which means the killer's only escape route was this window. Killer's escape route. It's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds. Huh? My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the pervert who stole girls' e swimsuit... Uh, also murdered the girl over there. They probably locked, the locked it in the music room so they could rape her, but then she ended up resisting. So they frantically tried to get away, broke the window, and escaped. Stolen swimsuit uniform. Alright, so we're approaching 42 minutes, so I gotta end the episode. But, uh, next time, uh, we will continue this. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been Tuba Player Negative If you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to have a conversation, leave a comment because that's how we do. Also, subscribe if you feel necessary. And I hope you guys are having a good rest of your day. Um, peace out, guys.